Hi everyone, this is Tara from Taters Tall Tales doing my very first video blog this week. Thanks to Shauna over at Dreaming in the Pages. She made me break a promise to myself because I swore when I started blogging that I would never do a video blog because I'm a goober and I don't belong on a video. But hers has been so cute lately and she finally convinced me to do it. So Shauna, this is for you. And all of the goofiness that comes from it, it's your fault. And here comes my dog wanting to say hi. Come here, come say hi. So this is Emmett. Everybody, this is my Chihuahua German Shepherd. Isn't he cute? Isn't he cute? And so anyways, um, I'm doing my very first in my mailbox on a video this week and I've got some great stuff for you. It's been an insane week and I honestly don't know how my postman can shove so many of these books into my mailbox. I have, it's literally like this big. My mailbox is this big and, and one day there was four books in there. I couldn't believe it. I just kept pulling books out, pulling books back. It was great. So first up for you this week, I have my book from my book tour that I am on. It's from the Debut Authors Challenge ARC Book Tour, and it is the beautiful, beautiful The Selection by Kira Cass. I know, I know. Be jealous. Be very jealous, because this book was amazing. Um, I was so excited. And it's even more beautiful in person. I couldn't believe how gorgeous it is. I mean, this doesn't do it justice. It, it really doesn't. And I've devoured this book already. It was so good. I read it in like two days and I devoured it like a cakeaholic touring the Betty Crocker factory. Ugh. It was delicious. Might not be for everybody, but my review will be up soon. But yeah, it's totally awesome. So, The Selection by Kira Cass. The next segment of books I have for you this week are books that I have won. Um, thanks to a lot of many amazing bloggers. I couldn't believe I won so many books because I'm like, I never win anything. I never win any books. And this week I get like four books. Um, so first one up is Try Not to Breathe by Jennifer Hubbard, um, which is amazing because I was so excited for this book. And I'm glad I never bought it at Barnes & Noble because I've thought about it a couple times. So I'm like, hmm. oh, wait. So I won an ARC thanks to Heather and all the other lovely ladies over at Fire and Ice Blogs. So thanks, guys. And my next one is Finding Alice by Andrea DiGiolano, I think. I'm sorry. I'm terrible with names, so if I butcher an author's name, I'm, I'm really sorry. Um, so Finding Alice, this one is thanks to T over at A Diary of a Book Addict. And I'm so excited because it's signed. It's a signed book. And, and I also got some really pretty bookmarks and stuff. So exciting for that one, too really badass cover. Look at that chick. Look at her. She's like, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to mess with me. So anyways, moving on. The next one I have is The Girl is Murder by Katherine Haynes. Thanks to Julie over at A Tale of Many Reviewers. I'm excited for this one because the cover is gorgeous and I have a soft spot for 1940s fashion and all that other stuff because it's beautiful. So yeah. Excited for this one too. And then my last one I have was an ebook from Elizabeth Marks and Giselle over at Espresso Reads. Um, it was All's Fair and Vanny the War, and I don't have a picture, but I have my nook, which is where I will probably read it from. Yes, my nook is awesome. It's old school, but it's awesome. I love my nook. I really do. And if you don't have an e reader, get an e reader because they're amazing. So those are the books that I won this week and the books that I received on my book tour. And then the next section I have are my amazing haul that I got from Amazon and Barnes and Noble because I can't help it. I can't help buying cheap books. Ebooks is really bad. A cheap ebook, I'm all over. Cheap paper books, I am even more all over. So amazing. So my first one is the Vow by Kim and Ketrick Carpenter and Dana Wilkerson. Yes, the Carpenters are the two people bait that the movie has been based on. And I couldn't help myself because I'm such a sucker for love songs and love movies and stuff. And Jane and Dana is so hot. So yeah, and I love Rachel McAdams too. I mean, hello, notebook. Anyways, so what I love even more is that the book has real life photos from the couple. How incredibly cute is that I mean seriously look at the car look at the car yes everybody that is what the car looked like so no I haven't seen the movie I'm trying to get my boyfriend to see it but so yeah there's the vow 
And then this next book, be prepared, y'all. Because if you've been following my blog, you know how much I love Lauren Oliver and how much I have been dying for this book. And I managed to get an arc from HarperCollins. I don't know how. It showed up in my mailbox with no note. And so I read it and I devoured it and I cried and I screamed. And at the end, I wanted to throw the book across the room. And so, but I couldn't help myself because I had to have a copy. And so, yes, I have Pandemonium by Lauren Oliver. I like all of my books in a series to be in the same format. And so I couldn't help but buy a copy because it just has to sit pretty on my shelf next to my delirium. So yes, I have Pandemonium by Lauren Oliver, which is amazing. And even cooler, the book's freaking orange. I know, total book nerd over here, but I get excited by what color the hardcovers are. And I've never seen orange before. It's so freaking pretty. And not to mention, look at this. Look how gorgeous the whole book jacket is. Hello. I'm pretty and amazing. And yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a total nerd. But when you get ARCs, you don't get to see the full book jacket. You just get to see the front of the cover and that's it. And so it's really pretty. And I gushed and I was like, even though I read it, I was like, ah, oh, it's so beautiful. And then I remembered the ending and I had to restrain myself from wanting to throw it across the room again. Um, so then my next pile of books I have are from my me day, which is every Wednesday. I find myself wandering Barnes and Noble because I have nothing better to do. And I'm always on the hunt for more books. And so this is my, holy cow, this is a huge pile of books, books, and they're gigantic, but they all sound really amazing. So first up is Angel Fire by Courtney Mulatin. And I have seen this book everywhere on everybody's blogs, and they all say how amazing it is. And I know book two just came out, and people have been just raving about it everywhere. So that's my first, holy crap, this is a fat book, book, which I'm actually kind of really excited about. Um, my next book really caught my eye because it's a gorgeous cover, is Fearless by Francine Pascal. Again, I'm sorry if I butcher your name, but I was browsing and this one totally caught my eye because look at it. It's beautiful. And so it's about a girl that doesn't have a fear gene. So how cool does that sound? But holy cow, look how fat it is. But it's amazing and I love it and I'm so excited for it. The next book is my bargain book of the week. Thanks to Barnes & Noble's bargain section because I do so bad in there. Anyways, Something Borrowed by Emily Giffen, which was five bucks, people. Five bucks for a paperback. I can't, I couldn't pass it up. Sounds so cool and so amazing, and I'm so excited. And then my last one I got from Barnes & Noble this week is a two for book, and it was, like, surprisingly cheap, which I don't get because it's a fat book. It's actually two books in one, but it was $7.99. Can you believe it? And it was amazing because each individual book there was 10 bucks each. And I was like, what? So we have Strange Angels and Betrayals by Lily, Lily St. Crow, I believe is how it goes. So I'm so excited. And look at this cover. I was really, really drawn in by the cover. And then I realized what books it were. And I was like, oh, heck yes. I will take books one and two. This is the series, people. These are the other covers. But I'm really in love with this one. And look, another fatty. I'm telling you, it's the fat, fat books this week. And they were cheaper. So, so amazing. I'm so excited to dig into all of those books. And now for the ebook section of this in my mailbox. First ebook I bought this week, which was free, is Intuition by J. Myers. Myers, which sounds cool and it's free. I can't, I can't pass up free books. It's not an option around here. If you saw my Goodreads ebook list, you you know what I'm talking about. Um, the next one I also bought, which was 99 cents, y'all, was Laminate by Maggie Stasevere. Stasevere. Sorry, I butchered it. I know. I should be a butcher and not a nurse. Um, the author of the Wolves of Mercy Falls books. So I'm excited to get into that one. And drum y'all, y'all. Hunger Games Trilogy. Yes, I got all three of them for 16 bucks. Couldn't believe it because I got to use my gift card from Christmas. 
I actually know. I used my one for my birthday, which was six months ago. Um, and you're all going to say, Tara, you haven't read The Hunger Games yet? And I'm going to be like, no, because I'm an idiot and I haven't gotten around to it yet. But with the movie coming out, I have to. And yes, I have my Hunger Games shirt on. And I got a whole bunch of other Hunger Games stuff. I got a couple cool bookmarks and my Entertainment Weekly came too, which has Katniss on the cover. And I'm so excited. And I kind of also got the nail polish. Woo. Yes. I'm so excited. I can't wait for it. You want to see it? I know you do. Yes, ladies. These will be on my nails very soon. You can see they're naked. I have naked nails waiting for the nail polish. And finally, my last book of the day is Revamped by Ada Adams. This is a, one I got from the author for a review, which I'm very excited about. Um, and yeah, it sounds cool. I can't wait to read it. So that is it, y'all. This is Tara signing out. Hope you enjoyed it. Please, if you tolerated me for this long, let me know. I'll do it again next week. If not, you're this is the last time you get to see my beautiful face. Alright, y'all. Thanks.